Texarkana football is brought to you by Baptist Bookstore, Chick-fil-A, Millway Credit Union, or Chevrolet, Red River Credit Union, Southern Arkansas University, Texarkana, Arkansas School District, Texas A&M, Texarkana, State Farm, Agent Greg Cockrell, University of Arkansas Hope in Texarkana, Pleasant Grove ISD, Guarantee Bank and Trust, Fox Sports, Texarkana, Liberty Ilo Independent School District, Texarkana Emergency Center, the Texarkana Independent School District, Beach Street First Baptist Church, and the Pop Pop Shop. Welcome Texarkana football fans to Razorback Stadium as tonight the Arkansas High Razorbacks take on the Texas High Tigers. This is Joe Adams along with Ray Engel, all the staff here at KLFI TV bringing you tonight's broadcast. And Ray, everybody's had a year to get ready for this football game. Uh, absolutely, Joe. This is the shining point of the early football season every year. We are going to bring our fans tonight the latest game in a 104 game rivalry. Uh, you know, not very many uh, rivalries in the country go back as far as this one. And uh, as we mentioned, you know, everybody has been pointing at this game. Uh, it's a big rivalry game, crosstown rivalry here. And uh, even though it doesn't make any difference as far as district or conference play, it's still for bragging rights here in Texarkana. Well, Joe, this game historically has featured tremendous talent over the years. You've got many players that were college football standouts, NFL standouts that have come from the Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas high school ranks. Are you ready for Arkansas High, Texas High football? Arkansas High will kick it away. Sophomore Christian Stewart has it ready to kick off as we get started and as you mentioned Ray the 104th meeting and a short kick and fair, fair call catch and that's and gonna be a penalty well, well they didn't throw it he called a fair catch Joe yeah should have been a penalty coach Sanford's gonna ask that question but no flag so no foul. So Texas High will start at the 31. Texas High 0 and 1, having lost last week to Pflugerville Hendrickson 21-7. Arkansas High defeated Liberty Allo 38-27. And the handoff to Tracy Cooper. Cooper going to be stacked up after a five-yard pickup. Not a bad opening play for the Tigers. Uh, the Razorback defense was pretty stout last week, but the Tigers have a big offensive line, and they like to be a very balanced office of offense, about 50-50 run pass. They'll give him six, so second down and four here for the Tigers. Again, Cooper going to be the ball carrier, going to have the first down and more, and Cooper still on his feet, going to be dropped at about the 31-yard line. And they'll say the 30-yard line of the Razorbacks. And Joe, I think one of the keys that you're seeing is the receivers for Texas High are doing an excellent job of blocking on the defensive backs, and that's what's opening up those lanes. 34-yard run there. 40 yards and two carries for Cooper. This time, a shorter gain. The defensive line for Arkansas is the most senior unit on that team. They, uh, I believe the entire defensive front is back from last year. Pickup of three that time for Cooper. 
It's been the Tracy Cooper drive here so far. Cooper again, the ball carrier, he's got some room. Gonna break it outside, he's got the first down. And inside the 15 to about the 13 yard line goes Tracy Cooper. Texas High last week ran for 164 yards, threw for 179. Right now, Texas High's got something going on the ground. And Joe, Cooper, they're, the left side. they're hitting off tackle there and getting that crease. Linebackers are able to get in and bring him down, but not before he gains about five more yards. Lineman shaking up for the Tigers. Eric Poe Sr. He's going to have to come out of the ball game. Second down, six here for the Tigers. New running back in there is Tyrell Miller. Sprint pass to the quarterback. Ryan Sprint Sellers is going to keep it himself. He picks up about five, four yards. I don't think he quite got to the first down. Some of you may remember Ryan Sellers last year as a sophomore, played a lot at wide receiver. Tremendous athlete playing quarterback now. Flag on the field. I think somebody hit him when he was already out of bounds, and let's see if that's gonna be the call. Yeah, that's, that's it. Personal foul, late hit. So, It'll be half the distance to the goal here. And they marked him at the, let's see. Marked him right at the five, five. so he's gonna be right on the two and a half. That's about where he needed for the first down. All right, they're gonna say third down. Cooper's gonna walk in for the touchdown on that left side. And pretty much it was the Tracy Cooper show there, except for one carry from Ryan Sellers. And Joe, the uh, Tiger offensive line doing a great job. And they look like they're larger, just a little bit bigger than the Arkansas High defensive front. 69 yard drive there for the Tigers in their opening possession. Kick is up. It's good, Joe. As Diego Mata Chavez makes the kick, seven to nothing our score. We'll be back after this. What's so special about Credit Union? You. What's so special about Millway? You. At Millway, you'll find it's comfortable to talk to us about your money and your financial goals. You'll see that we're truly concerned about helping you reach your goals. It's about lower loan rates, fewer fees, and higher returns on your savings. It's, it's all about taking care of you, the member, and helping you with your financial needs. Our goal is to make your life more affordable and enjoyable for you and your family. Are you still playing Fortnite? No, Poppy. I want a car, so I'm checking my credit score and interest rates on orchevy.com. The new or pre-check tool that gives you real-time information with no effect on your credit score. I want a truck, too. Hold it, boys. None of y'all are getting a truck anytime soon. Check out orchevy.com or pre-check. Get pre-approved in minutes. So easy a kid can do it. So come to or Chevy, where buying a car is easy. Surf or Chevy. Oscar Hernandez to kick it away for the Tigers. Oh, flag down here. Offside against the Tigers. Not sure I see it, Joe. Nobody ever got to the 40 yard line. I didn't see it either. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. So if you're going to call offsides, you got to put the ball back five yards. Okay. You know, there's a little X right out there that looks like that's where you're supposed to put it. Yes. All right. So we got whistle stop and play again here. Officials uh, uh, okay. trying to explain why well, they were offside. Let's see. Marquavius Fisher has uh, some kind of equipment issue that got him off the field. So we're going to try it again here. Hernandez to boot it away. Left footed kicker gathered in at the 14. Good speed. Uh, Tory Blair. Blair's giving up some ground. Gets and a block. Blair does get a block. And all the way out to the 32 yard line goes Tory Blair. An 18 yard return. For He's just a, a moment, it looked like he might be able to get all the way up the sideline, Joe. Blair's a very exciting player. We'll see a lot out of him. Pump returns, kick returns, and tailback. And Joe, last week, Arkansas High really came out throwing the ball. In fact, they threw it 24 times in the first half. Uh, let's see if they're going to continue that or maybe they're going to run the ball a little more this time. Sean Forback going to get the carry. That's going to be a hold against the Razorbacks. We thought we'd see a lot of uh, a lot more of Sean Forback this week. Played wide receiver last week. And if you remember, Forback was the starting quarterback for the Razorbacks last year. And when you have a, a player that's in there at wide receiver or running back and he has got the arm to throw the ball, that really opens up a lot of variations you can throw in there and can really fool the defense quite often. There wasn't a hold against the Razorbacks. It was a personal foul against the Tigers. Had to be a hand to the face mask because it was thrown right in the middle of the line. So the Razorbacks get a first down. And they'll be in Tiger territory. Player lined up this time in the slot. Gonna go in motion. Ball is dropped. Ball's down and it's loose. Tigers. And uh, Tigers have got the football at the 47 yard line. It bounced up into the arms of one of the Tigers. Uh, Braylon Bishop just never got the handle on it. Tory Blair tried to help, and that thing bounced around for a good five seconds. Joe, one of the things we haven't discussed tonight, temperature at kickoff time was still well above 95 degrees. Early in the year, a lot of times when you get weather like this, you start getting players going down with cramps along about the second quarter, that type of thing. So that may be a factor that influences this game. And off to Cooper. Cooper's going to get to the outside but good pursuit by that Razorback defense a couple of times it looked like he might be able to turn up the field and get a few yards Joe but the Razorbacks kept stringing him out until he ran out of room Larry Jefferson made the tackle from his linebacking spot Cooper did pick up three so second down seven at the Razorback 44 yard line Sellers with a little option here to Cooper. Cooper gets down to the 41-yard line. Razorbacks play it well. They only pick up a couple of yards. Brings up a third and let's call it a long four or short five. Third down here for the Tigers. Razorback defense really needs to come up with a stop right here. You gotta think Texas High is in four down territory. Joe, they have not thrown the ball yet. And the way they've run the ball, play action passes will probably work pretty well. Screen set up. Cooper gets it, but just to the line of scrimmage as Jefferson makes the tackle. And that heavy pressure from the Razorback defensive line 
forced the quarterback to just soft lob the ball and the defensive backs were able to come make the adjustment. It'll be fourth and four here for the Tigers, who appears if they are gonna go for it. Ryan Sellers at quarterback, number five. Tracy Cooper, the running back. Jaden Kelly at tight end. Sellers gonna roll out. It's gonna have to run out of bounds at the 45 as Jaquavia and Smith applied the pressure. Joey. Good, he has good coverage downfield there. It was good coverage, but he could have just thrown the ball away and saved five yards yeah. of loss there. Yeah, I, I thought maybe he's going to tuck it and run there, but you're, you're right. He could have thrown it away. So the Razorback defense does what they have to here, come up with a stop at the 45. Razorback offense here really hasn't had a chance to run very many plays because they had that turnover on that last possession. 6.39 to play here in the first quarter. Tigers up seven to nothing. Blair gonna be the ball carrier. It's got a little room. Gets right out of bounds at, uh, right at the midfield stripe. Picks up five. Second down five here for the Tigers. And Ray, you talked about earlier the, the heat and the heat index. You know, when you get on that artificial surface, you can add another 15 or 20 degrees. So oh, it's yeah. probably about 115, 120 degrees down well, there. It's at least 105 to 110, certainly, Joe. Blair again, the ball carrier has got some room. There's going to be a holding there. call. Flag at the 47. Right there in the interior of the line. So that'll negate a nice run there by Tory Blair. Razorbacks are gonna lose 12 yards because the hold happened two yards behind the line of scrimmage. So it'll be second down and 17 now for the Razorbacks. Tigers pressing the wide receiver on the far side of the field. Quarterback keeps, nowhere to go. Nice job over there by number 43, Tristan Whitehead. Bishop with the carry, but gonna lose yardage back to the 37. It's gonna bring third and 18, and the Razorbacks at this point just have to try to get what they can, but uh, don't take a chance on turning the ball over. Yeah. yeah, they've already got one turnover, and you're trailing seven to nothing. So if you're the Razorbacks here, if you're gonna throw it, make sure it's open. If it's not open, throw it away, and uh, live to play another down. Blair is gonna carry the football, gonna run out of room. Back at the 36, loses another yard. So fourth down and 19. We have not seen a punt by either team yet. Sean Forback will come on for the Razorbacks to punt it away. Five minutes to play here in the first quarter. Seven nothing for the Tigers. Back deep for the Tigers is Caleb Arnold. Arnold standing at his own 30. And a little confusion on the field there, it looks like. Play clock's gonna run out, so delay of the game. So instead of fourth and 19, it'd be fourth and 24. 24.
big crowd here tonight, Ray, as we would expect, you know, anytime these two teams play, whether it's at T Tiger Stadium or Razorback Stadium, folks want to come out and see it. Low snap, nice job by Forback. Kicks a low ball, looks, it's gonna go out at about the 45 yard line or so. So the Tigers will have good field position at the 45, their own 45 here, with 4.28 to play in the first quarter. Well, Tigers have had a lot of success here, Ray, in the first quarter running the ball. They have the last possession. The Razorback defense started doing a little bit better and held the Tigers, uh, but that's going to open up play action passing because those defensive backs are coming up quicker now. Cooper. And there's the a carry. penalty. In the area of holding. Could be holding. Can't really tell yet. It's going to be a face mask, Joe. Okay. That'll be 15 yards against the Razorbacks. And the first down for the Tigers, all the way down to the 39 of the Razorbacks. Of course, Tigers running the spread, as are the Razorbacks. Sellers in the shotgun, awaits the snap. Cooper, the running back. Sellers back to pass, going down the field. He's got a man. Just overthrown a little bit, Joe. It's intended over there for Kobe Webster. Webster, last week, Ray caught seven passes for 84 yards and a touchdown. So he he's one of those guys that Sellers is definitely going to be looking for tonight. You saw he had good speed. The Razorback defensive backs are very quick, but Sellers had a step on him. Handed off here, nowhere for Terrell Miller to go. And that's big number 31, Torres Christian. Christian Torres, excuse me, with the tackle. A loss of six on the play. Going to bring up third and 16 now for the Tigers. Tellers rolls out back across the middle and, and it's he's caught. Got some room now. This is Webster. Webster's got some room to run going to be dragged down at about the 23. He picks up the first down, Joe. Nigel Taylor makes the tackle, but a nice pass across the middle, and then Webster did the rest to pick up the first down. And Joe, if you can run crossing routes and complete them at the high school level, it opens up the game so much. A lot of teams just can't do it. Two receivers out wide, one in the slot. Cooper, the running back. Cooper going to be stopped. I uh, don't see a flag. There Five it is. 21. Going to be offside, I believe, against the Razorbacks. So that Razorback defense with a face mask on this drive, now an offside penalty. So yeah, you don't want to give the Tigers, you know, that kind of yardage. That's 20 yards already. They're making it a lot harder for themselves, Joe, and they've already got uh, a real task here against that Tiger offense. Cooper, the ball carrier, tries that right side. Not much there. Picks up maybe a yard and a half or so. Eric Flowers makes the tackle. He'll give him a yard, so second down and four. It's pretty nice when you can start at first and five. Who 
Cooper got it again. He's got the first down. Cooper runs over his own man. Forced out around the seven yard line. Toffrey Green makes the tackle, but not before Cooper picks up another first down. Cooper over getting a quick breather on the sidelines. Last week, Cooper rushed 23 times for 133 yards. So they bring in Terrell Miller now at running back. There was a flag down at the 17, picked it up over there. So here we go. First and goal for the Tigers. He's got a lot of room. And this is Miller. Miller gonna pick up about two yards, looks like. Maybe a yard. Not sure. Looked like he could have cut up the field. He might not have made the end zone, but he could have got about three more yards there. Actually, they're gonna say lost yardage back to the nine. So second. And goal from the nine here, 136 to play in the first quarter. Tigers up seven to nothing, but threatening again here. Tigers move Trey Roberts to the right side. Seller's gonna keep it himself. Gonna run out of bounds about the seven. Going to the short side of the field there. It'll be third and goal. Actually, they'll say at the eight, so third and goal from the eight for the Tigers. What if you look to the tight end right here, Ray? I'm wondering if they'll go off tackle with this. Touchdown for the Tigers. Clayton Smith comes up with a reception. Nice touch on that ball, Joe, right in the back corner of the end zone. Over the defender's head, right into uh, the hands of Smith. And the tight end was open across the middle, so he had a couple of different options there. The Sellers finds this receiver, and the Tigers back on the scoreboard here with 125 to play in the first quarter. Diego... Monta Chavez on for the extra point. Kick is up and it is good. 14 to nothing for the Tigers. We'll be back after this. Yellow High School, a variety of opportunities exist to teach students how to be productive members of society. Dual credit college courses ensure that LEHS graduates have a head start on their continuing education. Extensive career and technical education offerings give students job-ready skills to compete in a shrinking job market. Extracurricular activities, including band, academic UIL, and theater, allow students to display outstanding artistic skills. And as always, LEHS athletic teams are among the top in the state. Liberty Isle High School truly is a great place for students and educators. Back here at Razorback Stadium as the Tigers have taken a 14 point lead here in the first quarter. And a couple of penalties there against that Razorback defense certainly hurt them there on that drive. And Texas High had to work pretty hard to get those last seven or eight yards, but beautiful corner pass. Uh, I'd call it a fade route, except he was lined up. He ran straight up the side, but the ball's dropped into the bucket beautifully. Hernandez on to kick it away for the Tigers. Very high kick. Going to be taken in at the 15 by Blair. Good cutback. Caden Miller makes a nice tackle there in open field for the Tigers. And I, you know, Ray, I'd almost think about squib kicking that ball because Torrey Blair's had a couple of nice returns here early here. 
he's almost broken it a couple of times. So I agree, Joe. I'd put that ball on the ground and make him just take take the ball at about the 30 and go on. First to 10 here for the Razorbacks at their own 32-yard line. Blair is the tailback. Bishop, the quarterback. Bishop's just going to keep it and get maybe two yards. You know, last week, Ray, against Liberty Allo, we saw Arkansas High air it out. We've not seen much passing here this first quarter from the Razorbacks. No, they, they really haven't. They've only attempted a couple of them. Second down eight now for the Razorbacks. Inside a minute to play here in the first quarter. Bishop back to pass. Pass is incomplete. We've only been about a one yard pickup. DeShannon and Patterson couldn't come up with it. So third and eight now for the Razorbacks. Two receivers split out wide. Patterson in the slot. Bishop back to pass. Got time. He's going to step up the pocket. has got a lot of room to run here. The 45 and all the way out to the 47 goes Braylon Bishop. Nice pickup. Gets the first down, Joe. And that's uh, frustrating for a defense when you cover the receivers pretty well and you, you know, get some pressure on the quarterback and then he just runs for 17 yards. Yeah, that's what we noticed last week against Liberty Allo. Bishop, if the play breaks down or he doesn't have a receiver, he's going to tuck it and run. He's yeah. a really good runner. So first and 10 at the 47 for the Razorbacks. 10 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Player going to carry it. Going to Get to midfield and down to the 40, 44 yard line, I believe. Either way, nice pickup, about seven yards there. <coughs> Clock stopped with 1.7 seconds left here in the first quarter as Blair went out of bounds. Be second down three here for the Razorbacks. First time for the Razorbacks in Tacker territory here in this first quarter. Blair getting the carry. He's got the first down to the 40. That'll be the end of the first quarter here from Razorback Stadium. Texas High 14 and Arkansas High nothing. What is the Eagle experience for me? It's fun. I love it. The Eagle experience for me, the sports is great. I made a lot of great friends. It's a big school in a small package. I study business administration. The professors are great. We're very involved in the community. My name is Michael Herrera, and I play baseball at Texas a and Fisher County. My name is Allie, and I'm from Little Elm, Texas. I'm Danny, and I'm a senior at Texas A&M University, Texarkana. When it comes to priorities, your family always comes first. History has brought you to this point. Generations have led the way. At Red River Credit Union, the tradition continues. Financial options are available for every age, including checking and savings accounts and financial counseling. Members enjoy mobile banking and direct deposit, and children use their Homer accounts at Red River to learn how to save for the future. Red River Credit Union, with locations in Shreveport, Grambling, and now open in Marshall, Texas. Every day, the Texarkana, Arkansas School District helps students realize their full potential. We are a community rich in talent and strength, all working together to enhance the lives of our students and committed to providing students the tools they need to succeed. At TASD, you will find state-of-the-art technology, a dedicated staff, and an award-winning approach to education. We know that every student is different, so we think our schools should be too. Become a Razorback and realize your full potential. Blair tried the left side, turned around, went to the right side, picked up one. 
for being run out of bounds by Caleb Arnold. Ran about 18 yards, but it was a one yard gain. That's one of the things about Blair is he didn't mind reversing fields there. You gotta really keep an eye on him. I tell you what, your, your backside defensive end has a real challenge there. He can't just uh, assume that the play's not gonna come back to him. He's gotta stay in his position. Second and nine now for the Razorbacks as we're just underway here in the second quarter. Whistle stopping play. side against the Tigers. So that's going to make it second and four instead of second and nine. So both defenses here having some penalty issues in the first half. Second and four now for the Razorbacks. Hopefully the Razorbacks are changing the play because the Tigers and everybody know that they were fixing to throw the ball. That's right. Bishop awaits the snap. Blair the ball carrier. Blair down to the 29 yard line. That'd be the first down. You know, the, the thing I like about Blair, Ray, is he can find that hole very, very quickly. And he sees that hole and he hits it. There's the Razorbacks moving the ball well on this drive. First down to 29. Bishop back to pass, got time across the middle and intended for Ty Lee Green incomplete. Good coverage, Joe. He was open, but it would have required an absolutely perfect pass. Yeah, that was nice coverage there in the secondary for the Tigers. LaJonte right there back there in coverage. So it'll be second and 10 now to 29 for the Razorbacks. Bishop's got it, got the corner. It's gonna not be knocked out of bounds at the 19, or excuse me, 21 yard line. And I like the way the Razorbacks are mixing up the play calling, uh, throwing the ball a little bit, but running the ball and running to all parts of the field, Joe. Yeah, a little bit of misdirection there. You know, a lot of times you got a, a defense that's really shooting the gaps and coming in. Some, some type of misdirection call really gets them on their heels. Even just a simple counter play. Third and two now for the Razorbacks. Blair's got the first down and more at the 10 and down to the eight yard line. They found something on that left side, Joe. Right there made the tackle, but not before Blair got the first down with the eight. So first and goal with the eight for the Razorbacks. <laughs> Blair still in there running back. Bishop at quarterback. Same play. Blair's got the ball down to the one and. It might be in. Touchdown for the Razorbacks. Great run there for Tory Blair who. And Joe, he gets a little acceleration from his quarterback. Yep. The quarterback hands him the ball and <laughs> gives him a shove <laughs> through the hole. He cer certainly did there. And, and Blair broke two or three tackles about the two yard line and got in. Razorbacks on the board here as they get ready for the extra point attempt. 10.34 to play in the first half. Razorbacks score and Stewart will attempt the extra point. Let's 
14 to seven, our new score here at Razorback Stadium. We'll be back after these messages. 1929 Rose Bowl featured two powerhouse teams, Georgia Tech and California. Uh, but the talk wasn't about the two teams, it was about one player that no one had ever heard of. His name was Roy Rigels. After picking up a fumble, he got disoriented and began to run toward the end zone. Problem is, he was running towards the wrong end zone. In fact, one of his own teammates tackled him before he scored a touchdown for the other team. You can imagine he went into the locker room embarrassed and dejected. But his coach came and put his arm around him and told him, Roy, you're going to go back out and play the second half because we've only played the first half. I'm Craig Jenkins, pastor at Beach Street. Maybe you've been running the wrong direction. Let me say this to you. It's only the first half. There's still a second half to go. You've got an opportunity to make a change and a new direction in your life. I'd like to invite you to Beach Street this Sunday at 815 or 1045. In one of those services, you're going to be encouraged to go in a different direction. I look forward to seeing you there. Welcome back to Razorback Stadium as the Razorbacks on the board here, now trailing 14 to 7. And, and Joe, the uh, Razorbacks did a great job. They mixed it up well. They attacked the right and left sides, but they found that little off tackle play just in between the guard and a tackle or just right at the, the left side there. And very effective the last three running plays. Christian Stewart set to boot it away for the Razorbacks. High kick gathered in at the 25. Up to the 31. So first to 10 for the Razorbacks at the 31 yard line. To be the Tigers at the 31 yard line. Tigers up 14 to 7 here, 10 29 to play in the first half. Tiger offense really looked good early in the game. Then the Razorbacks started making them have to work a lot harder. Uh, let's see if they can answer this score now as the Razorbacks are closing in on them. Sellers back to pass. He's got a man open, and it is complete. That's Kobe Webster again. And Joe, they're, they're running it about 15 yards down, cutting it in, and it's a beautifully delivered ball. Sellers with plenty of time. Offensive line giving him a lot of protection. And Webster brings it down for the another first down for the Tigers at the midfield strike. Cooper with the He's first down and more. Jump. Cooper He's still gone. on the move. He's going to go in from 50 yards out. Tracy Cooper, a 50-yard scamper. Little and dive play up the left side. Yeah, broke, broke containment there. And once he got into the secondary, they couldn't catch him. So you got to think. Uh, Cooper here, Ray, in the first half. I know the first drive, 69-yard drive, he had 64 of the yards and a 50-yarder, so he's over 100 yards here already in the first half. Kick is up and good. 21-7 to for the Tigers. We'll be back after this. If you find yourself in need of emergency care, come see us at Texarkana Emergency Center. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We are locally owned with board certified physicians for all your emergencies. We accept all private insurance. At Texarkana Emergency Center, we have on-site lab, pharmacy, x-ray, ultrasound, and CT. Come see us at Texarkana Emergency Center. Real ER without the wait. The next generation of emergency care.
21 to seven, our new score here is the Tigers with an explosive run out of Tracy Cooper of 50 yards. And Joe, I wanna point out that the play before that was a nicely executed pass down, you know, a, a crossing pattern. And what you do is you back those defensive backs up about four yards and that opens up a lot more room to run the ball. Nicely executed by that offense of the Tigers. Very high kick gathered in at the 26. Good coverage this time downfield by the Tigers. And Marquavius Fisher makes the tackle. And the ball was a nice high ball. He could have signaled for a fair catch, but he did elect to catch it, but it, it took so long to come down, he didn't have any time to make any move. So the Razorbacks will take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line, down 21 to seven. And Joe, the Razorbacks need to be patient here. They need to run the ball, work it the same way that they did on that last drive. Bishop's back to pass. He's got a man down there, but double coverage. In fact, the receiver knocked, knocked the ball away or knocked the man away from the ball more so than anything else. Yeah, it was Tory Blair who was the intended receiver. And the Tigers had double coverage. And Blair did a nice job of knocking it away from the Tiger defender. Razorbacks hoping that that makes the Tigers defensive backs stay back just a little more and keep those running lanes open. Second and 10 now for the Razorbacks. Blair the ball carrier and that's yeah, a, face mask. a face mask. Yep. And that'll be a 15 yard penalty on the Tigers. You know, the, the Tiger defender got his hand up in there when he realized where it was, he let go. He didn't tackle the man by his face mask, but there is no in, uh, unintended face mask. Yeah, it inverted. Yeah, they that, call that it. doesn't exist anymore. Anytime you get your hand in there, that's going to be 15 yards. So the Razorbacks will be helped out by the penalty. Both defenses have committed several penalties here in this first half. And one thing that's been very positive in this game is there hasn't been a lot of the, let's call it chippiness we've seen sometimes between these two teams over the years. The, you know, the little extracurricular things and all that's been well played by both teams. Flag on the field. Illegal motion by the Razorbacks. So a five yard mark off against the Razorbacks will make it first and 15 at their own 32. Pistol look with the Another running back there, and that's four back. No option play here to Blair. Nowhere to go, Joe. I, he might have got back to the line or lost a yard. Nicely done over there by Clayton Smith. Clayton Smith, Ray, we were talking about before the game. He's in the top 100 junior football players in the country. And I think if I were the Razorbacks, I'd be trying to ride, run to the other side. Yeah, and they just never looked comfortable on that option play there. The didn't mesh with the dive man. Um, just looked like weren't quite in sync on it. Split backs this time. Bishop back to pass. Got time. Little screen to Blair. And Blair got to be run out of bounds at the 35. Picks up a few yards, Joe. It was uh, maybe three or four, but 
Still going to bring up third and 13. Nine twenty to play here in the first half. Twenty-one to seven for the Tigers. The visitors here tonight in the one hundred and fourth meeting of these two teams. Bishop's going to roll out to his left. He is left-handed. And passes nope. out dropped. of bounds there. Tended for Lewis Blackwell. But broken up by... Arcavius Fisher was all over that, yeah. Joe. Nicely done by that Tiger secondary. And, you know, when, uh, the Tigers this year, Ray, coming into this season, you looked at the numbers back, seven returning uh, starters on defense. So you knew defensively they were going to be solid this year. Uh, offensively, you know, young, but uh, so far this ball game, they've done a nice job. Oh, yeah, there you have, Joe. Four back on to punt it away. Pressure gets it away, a line drive. Going to bound at the 33. Tigers will get away from it. And the Razorbacks will stop it at the 33. So the Tigers take over first and 10 at their own 33 yard line. You know, both these te two teams, Ray, you know, pretty young, uh, playing some uh, younger guys uh, on both offense and defense. And, you know, it's only the second ball game of the year. And, you know, before you get into district play, conference play, you hope some of these young guys, you know, grow up and get get experience. I mean, there's nothing like getting out on the field on Friday night and playing and get that experience. No, you, you cannot simulate it in practice. Um, there's just no way, Joe. It, you know, when you're in practice, people, they're your own teammates. They may, they may hit you, they may tackle you, but they don't really go 100% all, all the time. Discussion going on on the field with the I believe officials. they're discussing which one of the fine Texarkana restaurants that they're going to go to after the game. And there's a lot of great ones. That's right. Some of them sponsor KLFI football. So penalty going to push the Tigers back to the 23-yard line. First and 10 at that point. And off to number nine, Tyrell Miller. Miller straight up the middle, picks up about four. Giving Cooper a little bit of a break here. Eight thirty to play here in the first half. Tigers up twenty one to seven in possession of the football. Second and six, Joe. And timeout by the Tigers here with 8.17 to play. We'll be back right after this. What is the Eagle experience? Being involved on campus. I love connecting with all types of people. I play tennis for the Eagles. Um, you're not just a number, you're actually a person. In the mirror. I'm a part of the business club. I'm a first year experience mentor. You get to meet your professor, they get to know you personally. I'm Sarah Wilbanks, I'm from Atlanta, Texas, and I'm a senior at A&M Texarkana. I'm Shannon from Rockwall, Texas, I am a senior. My name is Phil, I am from Lafayette, Louisiana. That is my Eagle experience. 
At Liberty Allo High School, a variety of opportunities exist to teach students how to be productive members of society. Dual credit college courses ensure that LEHS graduates have a head start on their continuing education. Extensive career and technical education offerings give students job-ready skills to compete in a shrinking job market. Extracurricular activities, including band, academic UIL, and theater, allow students to display outstanding artistic skills. And as always, LEHS athletic teams are among the top in the state. Liberty Isle High School truly is a great place for students and educators. Back here at Razorback Stadium, second and six for the Tigers. To enjoy a 21 to seven lead. Great shot there of junior quarterback Ryan Sellers. Tight ends in motion, that's Jaden Kelly going to get right at the first down marker. It's Miller like again, the, the ball carrier. The third and very short. We're going like to get a gonna, measurement. Yeah, Joe. they're going to measure this one. Of course, it's on the far side of the field. My eyes aren't that good, but I'm going to say they're about three inches short of the first down. Well, and Joe, the interesting thing when you end up with, you know, just a few inches to go is does your team practice getting under? And that's going to be a first down. Yeah. So it won't matter now, but always with teams that run the spread and they're used to snapping the ball back in sort of a shotgun type uh, snap. When you need that, just that six inches, can you get under the center so that you don't have to take the ball back five yards to bring it back to the line five and a half? He so just made it by the nose of the football, but first and 10 for the Tigers. Ryan Sellers awaits the snap. Cooper back in the ball game. Cooper tries the left side, picks up about three. Joe, when he saw that there was, you know, he wasn't going to be able to get around everybody on the outside, he went ahead and cut it back and got what he could get out of the play. I like that. Yeah, that's that's the sign of a good running back where you realize there's not much room there, but you just turn it north and south, and in this case, east and west, and pick up what you can. Have a Razorback defender down on the field, so as they attend to him, let's take a break, and we'll be back right after this. When it comes to priorities, your family always comes first. History has brought you to this point. Generations have led the way. At Red River Credit Union, the tradition continues. Financial options are available for every age, including checking and savings accounts and financial counseling. Members enjoy mobile banking and direct deposit, and children use their Homer accounts at Red River to learn how to save for the future. Red River Credit Union, with locations in Shreveport, Grambling, and now open in Marshall, Texas. If you find yourself in need of emergency care, come see us at Texarkana Emergency Center. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We're locally owned with board certified physicians for all your emergencies. We accept all private insurance. At Texarkana Emergency Center, we have on-site lab, pharmacy, x-ray, ultrasound, and CT. Come see us at Texarkana Emergency Center. Real ER without the wait. The next generation of emergency care. Kalen Harris, the injured Razorback. Good to see him coming off under his own power. And you know, Ray, we talked about the start of this ball game, the, the heat and the heat index, and you gotta think that's gonna play a part in this ball game tonight, as we, especially getting into the second half. Oh, absolutely. Uh, with the heat index, you're still probably at 100 degrees or more, even now after dark. Second down. Seven for the Tigers. Cooper, the carry, not much that time. Maybe a yard, that's about it. It's gonna bring a third and six. Eric Flowers makes the tackle. Here's the A&M Texarkana University replay. 
little and you bit see of a the, low snap. The Razorbacks had nine guys up on the line of scrimmage right there. It's almost like they knew the play. So third down and seven now for the Tigers. See if they run that same crossing pattern down the right side. Razorbacks look like they're going to blitz. And they do. But it's completed to the 47 yard line, Joe. That's going to be a first down. Nice job there by that offensive line. Clayton Smith comes up with the reception. Clayton Smith caught a touchdown pass earlier, Ray, and comes up with one there. And, and the, the, you see on the replay here, the great thing about throwing it to Clayton Smith is he's 6'5". Just throw it up, let him go get it. That's what he did. He gets behind the linebackers and in front of the safety. And Cooper, the ball carrier. Cooper's going to lose his he's helmet, lose. so he'll have to come out of the game. But as a nice gain on first down of five yards. 5.56 to play here in the first half. 21 to seven for the Tigers. And the Tigers have just moved back into Razorback territory at the 49. Stack formation here on the right for the Tigers. Miller, the tailback, balls is loose. Picked up by Sellers. Sellers is going to make something out of this. He's and gonna get, the get first near down. the first down. Great they're job gonna, over there by Ryan Sellers. It. He's got the first down. Yeah, we talked about how he's a great athlete. And you, and you get a guy like Sellers at quarterback, and, and when you have something like this happens, you will see here on the replay, ball on the ground. A lot of guys would just fall on it, but not Sellers. No, it makes a nice move there. It extends out to get the first down. The first and 10 at the 44 of the Razorbacks. A lot of confusion, timeout being taken. Time out on the field here with 5.25 to play. We're back right after this. Alex, are you still playing Fortnite? No, Poppy, I want a car, so I'm checking my credit score and interest rates on orchevy.com. The new or pre-check tool that gives you real-time information with no effect on your credit score. I want a truck, too! Hold it, boys. None of y'all are getting a truck anytime soon. Check out orchevy.com or pre-check. Get pre-approved in minutes. So easy a kid can do it. So come to Or Chevy, we're buying a car is easy. Surf Or Chevy. Back here at Razorback Stadium, 525 to play here in the first half. Tigers up 21 to 7. And on the move again. Ball out. Ball's loose. Tigers pick it up, but they're gonna lose about three yards or four on that play. Let's see. Colin Shelley came up with it for the Tigers. Great See reaction the there by replay. the lineman. Yeah, a nice job there by that Razorback defender. Just punched it out of the hands of Terrell Miller. Shelley picked it up, was able to actually take a couple of steps, and I know it was a former lineman that all those thoughts that they'd never get, hey, this will be my chance to run the ball. But too much of a crowd in there. Cooper, the ball carrier, dropped after a short game by Lewis Blackwell. Maybe picks up two. And Clayton Smith comes back into the ball game. So if you're the Razorbacks here, you want to keep an eye on Clayton Smith for sure. 
And the tight end spot. Joe, at third and 13, again, you know, Tiger's probably looking to run that crossing route again. And Kobe Webster's got single coverage on the left side. He's looking at him all the way, but now he's flushed to his right. Seller's gonna run for it, and Seller's is gonna be short of the first down. He run out of bounds at the 41. So it's gonna be fourth and about eight or yeah, and you're, you're in one of those positions here, Ray, where, you know, fourth and eight, you, you probably ought to punt it. I think that's what they're going to do here. Three minutes and 47 seconds left in the half. And Sellers will be back deep to punt for the Tigers. Tory Blair back for the Razorbacks. Nice high punt. Razorbacks are not going to feel it. It takes a good oh. bounce for the Razorbacks and gets yep. into the end zone. Caden Miller trying to track it down and just couldn't get there. You can't really ask your punter to hit a better punt. He dropped it at the 10 yard line. It just took a phenomenally quick forward bounce. So a 41 yard punt there in the end zone with a net of 21. <coughs> well, the Razorbacks get it back at their own 20 yard line here. 3.39 to play in the first half. Still with two timeouts. And if the, you're the Razorbacks here, Ray, you'd love to take it down here, get some points on the board because you're going to get it first in the second half. Well, they don't need to abandon the run. They've got three minutes and 39 seconds left. Bishop's going to keep it and going to be wrestled down at the 21-yard line. Just a two-yard gain, Joe. Javarius Tyson on the tackle for the Tigers. So we'll say second down and eight now for the Razorbacks. Razorbacks says they're not in any hurry right here. Clock runs, three minutes to play in the first half. Almost lost the handle. That's Blair, the ball carrier. Brought down by Devontae Jack. Got back to about the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Time out here on the field with 2.48 to play. We'll be back after these messages. Every day, the Texarkana, Arkansas School District helps students realize their full potential. We are a community rich in talent and strength, all working together to enhance the lives of our students and committed to providing students the tools they need to succeed. At TASD, you will find state-of-the-art technology, a dedicated staff, and an award-winning approach to education. We know that every student is different, so we think our schools should be too. Become a Razorback and realize your full potential. Third and eight for the Razorback setting up the screen play. Almost, almost. picked off over there by Devontae Jack. And Joe, that's one of the issues with the screen is it just takes one defensive lineman or, or linebacker to figure it out. And nice job by Jack. He, he figured out what was going on for sure and got his hands on the football and broke it up. So it's going to bring up a fourth down. Stops the clock, 2.43, Tigers may have time to do something. Sean Forback to punt it away, a low punt. Gonna bound at the midfield stripe, go out of bounds at the 46 yard line. So the Tigers do have 2.33 to play here in this first half. There's a good shot of head coach, athletic director, Barry Norton, who of course came over here to Arkansas High from Texas High three years ago. Won his first game against Arkansas High, then 
lost to the Tigers last year. Cooper, Great job the ball carrier. Number six for the Razorbacks. I don't have a number six on my roster. I don't either. That may be a five. If it is so, that's uh, Nyjah Taylor. Pickup of three by Cooper. So second down and seven here for the Tigers. Ball through on 49. Clock runs under two minutes now. A little pass, behind the receiver. Yeah, had, had Webster there for just a moment. Joe, it, it looked like maybe on a different page, Webster was running a, a post type pattern and the ball was thrown as if it was a fly pattern. You know, and Webster, did a smart thing there, Ray. He, he could have reached that arm back and maybe got a hand on it, but if he pumps that thing up, it's going to be a sure interception. That's right. So third down seven now for the Tigers. Screenplay being set up to Webster. A lot of traffic, but he's going to get the crease. Webster's going to get outside, and the Razorback defenders will knock him out of bounds at the midfield strike. Excellent pursuit by the Razorback defense. We'll see here on the replay. Webster does a nice job to get outside. But that's number 81, Demarcus Davis, who really stood him up there. So it's going to be fourth down now and six for the Tigers, 138 to play here in the first half. They're going to punt it away. Tiger punt team on again. And again, if I'm punting the football, I'm going to punt it away from Tory Blair. But punts it right to him with the line drive. Uh, there's a block, a block in the back. back. And they're calling it. Yep. You don't want to do that right in front of the, the back judge no, there. That happened right at the 20, so the Razorbacks will get the ball on the 10-yard line. One twenty-six to play here in the first half. Tigers up 21 to 7. The Razorbacks get it back, but they'll be backed up deep in their own territory. Gonna mark it off from the 21, so they'll get it on the 11-yard line. So if you're the Razorbacks here, Ray, I believe you run it. Yeah, you I run think it you, straight ahead. you just hand it to Tory Blair and get out of here at halftime. Try to regroup. I look for him to try that little off-the-left tackle play that worked real well at the other end of the field. Four back will be in the backfield along with Blair. And Blair will be the ball carrier. Blair's gonna lose yardage back to the five and there's a penalty Dan. That'll be a face mask, I believe, against the Tigers. Let's, let's take a look here. Let's take a look here at the AM University Texarkana replay. Uh, Didn't see a face mask. No, maybe a late hit. Let's see. Flag is down at the eight yard line. And it is going to go against the Tigers, but. Joe, from here, it looked like a finger caught the ear hole of the helmet and. Personal foul. Did not say face mask. So no. I guess he's just calling a late hit. It was right there on that sideline. So the flag was down at the eight. So a 12 yard penalty. Is it half the distance from the goal? I don't know. Anyway, first to 10 for the Razorbacks. Oh, excuse me, second and one for the Razorbacks at the 20. Did not have enough for the first down. 
Pass is going to be inc incomplete in between two Razorback not, receivers. Not quite sure which receiver he was aiming that one at. Patterson over there along with Green. So it'll be third and one now for the Razorbacks with 115 to play. Bishop going to take off, drops the football. Drops it again. Drops it again. It hit the ground, the caused it. Yeah. So he does pick up the first down at the 30. They stopped the clock, but this clock should start again when the chains get set. We'll see here on the replay. This is a fortuitous bounce. Well, that's the previous play, but the, previous the, play. the bounce that Bishop had there, Ray, right, 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 right back to him. A first and 10 for the Razorbacks, under a minute to play here. A little out throw to Tylee Green. He bobbled it, but he must have gained control just before he stepped out, Joe. At the 35 yard line, so second and five, clock will stop with 53 seconds to play here in the first half. I think they're daring the Tigers to get up there and right in the face of the receiver. Bishop back to pass, same play here intended for the Shannon Patterson off his fingertips. And Joe, they're just sending a receiver deep and dro dropping a man underneath there, trying to get the completion, get him out of bounds, get four or five yards each time. Third and five now for the Razorbacks at their own 35. off to Blair, but Tristan Whitehead blew that up. Blair did get about a yard and a half. It's gonna bring up fourth down, Joe. Clock is running right. I think they're gonna have to snap it before the end of the half. Yes, they will. Razorbacks are to the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're ready to go here, fourth down. And a timeout, timeout on the field. We'll take one as well. We'll be back after this. What's so special about credit unions? You. What's so special about Millway? You. At Millway, you'll find it's comfortable to talk to us about your money and your financial goals. You'll see that we're truly concerned about helping you reach your goals. It's about lower loan rates, fewer fees, and higher returns on your savings. It's, it's all about taking care of you, the member, and helping you with your financial needs. Our goal is to make your life more affordable and enjoyable for you and your family. Nineteen and a half seconds left here in the first half. Fourth down and three for the Razorbacks. Who, Joe, yeah, I they think decided to punt it. This. But the Tigers don't. Good punt this time from Fourback, and a fair catch at the twenty-six by Caleb Arnold. So 12.7 seconds no, left yeah, in the first half. The Tigers, right, just gonna probably just run this thing out here. Just one, one snap and go to the locker room with a 21 to seven lead. Yeah, I agree, Joe. I think you, you know, you give the impression maybe that you're gonna just run it out. Maybe you run one receiver down the field and see if anybody stays with him. The 
first and 10 for the Tigers. Ball at the 27 yard line. Yeah, they're gonna just get in the victory formation here. And Sellers, Sellers, excuse me, takes a knee and the first half will end here at Razorback Stadium with the Tigers up 21 to seven. We'll take a break and be back for halftime activities right after this. Alex, are you still playing Fortnite? No, Poppy, I want a car, so I'm checking my credit score and interest rates on orchevy.com. The new or pre-check tool that gives you real-time information with no effect on your credit score. I want a truck, too! Hold it, boys. None of y'all are getting a truck anytime soon. Check out orchevy.com or pre-check. Get pre-approved in minutes. So easy a kid can do it. So come to or Chevy, where buying a car is easy. Surf or Chevy. At Liberty Allo High School, a variety of opportunities exist to teach students how to be productive members of society. Dual credit college courses ensure that LEHS graduates have a head start on their continuing education. Extensive career and technical education offerings give students job-ready skills to compete in a shrinking job market. Extracurricular activities, including band, academic UIL, and theater, allow students to display outstanding artistic skills. And as always, LEHS athletic teams are among the top in the state. Liberty Isle High School truly is a great place for students and educators. What is the Eagle Experience for me? It's fun. I love it. The Eagle Experience for me, the sports is great. I made a lot of great friends. It's a big school in a small package. I study business administration. The professors are great. We're very involved in the community. My name is Michael Herrera, and I play baseball at Texas a and Fisher County. My name is Allie, and I'm from Little Elm, Texas. I'm Danny, and I'm a senior at Texas A&M University, Texarkana. KLFI TV would like to welcome you to the best in sight and sound in Texarkana Friday nights. This is the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana Halftime Show. The Texarkana Independent School District proudly presents for your halftime entertainment the award-winning Texas High School Marching Tiger Band and High Steppers. The Tiger Band is under the direction of Arnie Lawson, Steve Bennett, John Lawanzen, Leslie Lawanzen, David Stewart, John Kilgo, and Kara Compton. The Tiger Band is led on the field tonight by drum majors, senior Skylar Black and junior Gabby Reed. Tonight, we present the first movement of our 2019 production entitled, The Red Line. Football fans, please welcome the Tiger Marching Band.
and gentlemen, Texarkana Independent School District is proud to present to the field the 2019-2020 Texas High Steppers. Under the direction of Amber Reynolds, the High Steppers have graced the field for 41 years. Over the past four decades, your Texas High Steppers have traveled as far as New York City and received numerous awards and recognitions in both state and national competitions. Tiger fans, be sure to find a High Stepper at the next four home games for your chance to win a 50-50 raffle. Tickets are $5 or $5 for $20. Help send your High Steppers to California. The High Stepper officers are Junior Lieutenant Evelyn Patterson, Junior Lieutenant Mary Claire Wright, Senior Lieutenant Allie Graves, Senior Lieutenant Kendra Thompson, and Senior Captain Madison Bowers. The High Stepper of the Week is Senior Raven Ivory. Our Teacher of the Week is Rebecca Potter. Thank you, Ms. Potter, for being a light to THS. Our performance tonight is dedicated to you. Tonight, the High Steppers will entertain you to their kick routine to any way you want it. Ladies and gentlemen, your Texas High Steppers. the Tiger Band exits the field to the sounds of the Eyes of Texas. Tiger fans, feel free to sing along. Captain for the Tiger Band is singer Gray Johnson. Band members of the week are percussionist Josh Lauterbach, brass Luke Dupas, woodwind Trisha Patel. We would like to thank the Tiger Band and High Stepper Booster Clubs for their continued support of our programs. Thanks also to the administration and staff of TISD and Texas High School. Special thanks to the students and fans of Texas High School for sponsoring our Song for a Cause this week, benefiting the Caruso experience at Harding University. A check for $1,000 will be sent in memory of Cameron Maynard. The next performance of the Tiger Band will be next Friday at home, hosting LE High School. Game time is 7 p.m. We hope to see you there. When it comes to priorities, your family always comes first. History has brought you to this point. Generations have led the way. At Red River Credit Union, the tradition continues. Financial options are available for every age, including checking and savings accounts and financial counseling. Members enjoy mobile banking and direct deposit, and children use their Homer accounts at Red River to learn how to save for the future. Red River Credit Union. 
with locations in Shreveport, Grambling, and now open in Marshall, Texas. We're in action Thursday, September 14th, when they play Magnolia and Nashville. The Razorback Volleyball team will also play on Tuesday the 10th, when they host Sheridan. Also, good luck to the cross-country teams running in the Warrior Invitational this Saturday, the 7th, and to the golf team playing at Mystic Creek Golf Club on September the 9th. For up-to-date information... Marching Band and Razorback Red Line. The Red Line is under the direction of Christy Wade and is led by Captain Grace Pendergraft and Lieutenants Kiera Williams. And Savannah McLaughlin. This week's Dancer of the Week is Michelle Ross. Tonight, the Red Line will be performing a kick routine to rock around the clock. Captain, are you ready? the Texarkana, Arkansas School District helps students realize their full potential. We are a community rich in talent and strength, all working together to enhance the lives of our students and committed to providing students the tools they need to succeed. At TASD, you will find state-of-the-art technology, a dedicated staff, and an award-winning approach to education. We know that every student is different, so we think our schools should be too. Become a Razorback and realize your full potential. Tonight's performance will include Lucretia McEvil, God Bless the Child, and Go Down Gambling. Our flag captains are Lauren Paxton and Gracie Aiken.
The band is under the field direction of senior drum majors Kyra Thomas and Cody Wade. Trumpet solos, Josh Green and Josh Moore. Josh Green on trumpet. 
The 1929 Rose Bowl featured two powerhouse teams, Georgia Tech and California. Uh, but the talk wasn't about the two teams, it was about one player that no one had ever heard of. His name was Roy Rigels. After picking up a fumble, he got disoriented and began to run toward the end zone. Problem is, he was running towards the wrong end zone. In fact, one of his own teammates tackled him before he scored a touchdown for the other team. You can imagine he went into the locker room embarrassed and dejected. But his coach came and put his arm around him and told him, Roy, you're going to go back out and play the second half because we've only played the first half. I'm Craig Jenkins, pastor of B Street. Maybe you've been running the wrong direction. Let me say this to you. It's only the first half. There's still a second half to go. You've got an opportunity to make a change and a new direction in your life. I'd like to invite you to Beach Street this Sunday at 815 or 1045. In one of those services, you're going to be encouraged to go in a different direction. I look forward to seeing you there. If you find yourself in need of emergency care, come see us at Texarkana Emergency Center. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We are locally owned with board certified physicians for all your emergencies. We accept all private insurance. At Texarkana Emergency Center, we have on-site lab, 
pharmacy, x-ray, ultrasound, and CT. Come see us at Texarkana Emergency Center. Real ER without the wait. The next generation of emergency care. Welcome back to Razorback Stadium as we get set for the second half. And the Tigers leading here 21 to 7 at the half. And I believe we have some halftime stats, courtesy of the Ticket Scanner Gazette. You see, first downs 12 to 8 for the Tigers. Rushing yardage 157 to 66, passing 59 to 8. Both teams tried about the same number of passes there. But Texas High able to complete six of them for 59 yards. Arkansas High really just completed a couple of short passes into the flat for a grand total of eight yards. But if you look at the game, you're going to see it should, you know, Texas High should be ahead by a touchdown just looking at the rushing and passing yards. But the big, the big difference maker is that turnover, that one turnover there for Arkansas High that Texas High was able to convert into a touchdown. So the Tigers leading here at the half, 21 to seven. The Razorbacks will get it first here to start the second half. And, you know, we saw the Tigers go down on their very first possession, started at their own 31 yard line. And Tracy Cooper with uh, like 64 of the 69 yards there rushing uh, the football. And as you mentioned, the Razorbacks then coughing it up. Tigers going in, making it. 14 to uh, nothing. Razorbacks coming back, making it 14 to seven. Now our score 21 to seven. So we get set to start the second half. The officials conferring. Uh, there were a lot of penalties, but there was not a lot of uh, unsportsmanlike conduct, anything like that. It was just, you know, the same kind of things you get early in the year. People moving on the line, lined up on a kickoff with supposed to have one foot on either side of the line and one player didn't so they called offsides on them we did have the defenses a couple of times but i think both teams maybe had a couple of roughing penalties uh, there that kept drives alive for the other team um, but uh, we're getting set here to start the second half let's take a little break here before kickoff we'll be back right after this what is the Eagle experience? Being involved on campus. I love connecting with all types of people. I play tennis for the Eagles. Um, you're not just a number, you're actually a person. In the mirror. I'm a part of the business club. I'm a first year experience mentor. You get to meet your professor, they get to know you personally. I'm Sarah Wilbanks, I'm from Atlanta, Texas, and I'm a senior at A&M Texarkana. I'm Shannon from Rockwall, Texas, I'm a senior. My name is Phil, I am from Lafayette, Louisiana. That is my Eagle experience. At Liberty Allo High School, a variety of opportunities exist to teach students how to be productive members of society. Dual credit college courses ensure that LEHS graduates have a head start on their continuing education. Extensive career and technical education offerings give students job-ready skills to compete in a shrinking job market. Extracurricular activities, including band, academic UIL, and theater, allow students to display outstanding artistic skills. And as always, LEHS athletic teams are among the top in the state. Liberty Isle High School truly is a great place for students and educators. We're set for the second half kickoff. Oscar Hernandez will boot it away for the Tigers. Torrey Blair back deep for the Razorbacks. Gonna be a short kick taken in at the 21 yard line by Blackwell. Blackwell Takes it back to the 33-yard line. So the Razorbacks with solid field position to start this drive. And Joe, we saw them run the ball effectively off the left tackle. They mixed it up pretty well. Didn't have a lot of luck throwing the ball. But it'll be interesting to see if the Texas High Tiger defense has made any adjustments to stop that off tackle run. Yeah, I think you can feel the Razorbacks. You, you got to go back to that 
I think that's where you had your most success, running to that left side. Now try to establish the run. If you can do that, then that's going to set up the pass. So we'll see what the Razorbacks do here to start the second half. They're going to get single coverage on this receiver out here. Bishop awaits the snap. Tory Blair is the tailback. Bishop's got the football. He's going down the field. And oh, that that flag is horrible there now. Yeah. The uh, receiver was behind. The defender was in better position. The receiver ran into him and then fell down. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a poor call there. And the Texas High defender certainly not happy with that call. And the other thing, Ray, is that ball is well overthrown. It's yeah, not a catchable it's not football. Catchable either. Now you can call, not on that play because there wasn't any, but you can call holding uh, or illegal contact, but you can't call pass interference if the ball wasn't catchable. But nevertheless, a penalty against the Tigers of 15 yards. And Bishop's going to keep the football and lose a yard. Let's take a look at that pass there and see if we can pick up why the interference was called. Blair rolls out to his left. You see the, no, yeah, he just fell down. Yeah, the receiver was beat. The defender had better position on it, and the receiver ran into the back of him and fell down. I mean, the only, the only thing you might could possibly see there that they got their feet tangled, but, but that's, that's not, not a, a penalty. That's not a penalty. Second down, 12 now for the Razorbacks. Bishop going to complete the Wide pass screen. to Green, and it's going to be, he's going to take it down into the Tiger territory about the 46-yard line. And we saw a little bit of this at the end of the first half, Ray, with the, the Razorbacks, a little, of some of those uh, little passes into the flat had some success, and going back to it right here. Third and four now for the Razorbacks. Forward to the other side. Here comes the pressure. Blair uh, Bishop able to get away from it. Got to try to run for it here, and that pass is not down by Clayton Smith. Smith putting the pressure on over there, and a little bit of a brouhaha on the sideline over there. The Texas High coach is grabbing their player and getting him back to the bench area away from the other team. You know, Bishop there, Ray, lucky that uh, he didn't have that thing picked off. So it'll be fourth down for the Razorbacks as Sean Forback will be back to punt it away. Caleb Arnold standing at his own 10. Had to get a center uh, in, they run out of time. <laughs> yeah, typically you need a center or a deep snapper in there. It's, uh, it's tough to tough to snap it without one. So I was about to say the Razorbacks may just try to get Arkansas High to jump all sides, but not or an issue. Get Texas High, yeah. Yeah, excuse me, the Razorbacks might try to get the Tigers. Yeah, and that, that could have been what they were doing, but Defensively, you're not going to jump off sides if there's not a center. We'll try it again here. Fullback gets the snap. Low punt, going to hit at the 16, picked up by Arnold at that point, and gets back to the 16, and a flag. Don't know what that was. A lot of whistles coming in after the play. So. We had 12 penalties in the first half here. We've already seen two here start the second half. We're not even two minutes into the second half. Maybe getting a little chippy out there, I'm not sure. Gonna go against the Tigers. Tigers will get the football back, and we're not sure yet where that will be. Well, if you're going half the distance to the goal line, it should be about the six yard line. And then 
mark it at the eight. So actually, I guess that was a 10 yard penalty. So the Tigers will start deep in their own territory here on their first possession of the second half. And Tracy Cooper straight up the middle. So this is how the Tigers started off the ball game. Yeah, they ran the ball effectively. That's an eight yard gain there. And a flag. No, no, there's not a flag out there, Joe. Sellers got the snap. Uh, Cooper, the ball, and gets near the 20. That should be enough for the first down. I believe they're marking it right on the 20. I think he got a lot of help there from his teammates. He was going to be short in the offensive lineman with a little boost. So first to 10 for the Tigers at the 20. And the stack formation on the right. Cooper on the right side. Nice cutback, Joe. Gain an extra four yards. Gets to the 27 yard line before Eric Flowers makes the tackle. Here's the replay. Cuts it up and then back to the outside. Nice job there. Red is blocks, cut it back. He's picked up seven yards. Cooper, the ball carrier. Picks up about three. Should have the first down, he does. Picked up about five. And again, you know, Texas High did this on their first drive. If you're running the ball like this, you don't really want to change anything. Now, you may try to catch Arkansas High, you know, not paying attention here in a minute. And what's going to happen was safeties are going to have to get a little closer, a little closer to the line. And once they do, they're going to open up that crossing pattern behind them. Because you got the safety playing 14, 15 yards back for Arkansas High. Nice job over there by Najee Taylor. Knocks it down. Intended for Webster. The receiver on the other side was uncovered. And Texas High had a lot of success right in the first half. A little crossing pattern across the middle. Taylor read it nicely that time. It will knock it down. Cooper, the ball carrier, has got some room. Cuts it back to the 41 or 42 yard line. Just short of the first down. So it'll be third and one here for the Tigers. We don't have Cooper's stats from the first half. They, they had 157 yards rushing, and most of those were Cooper's. No, he had 137. He had 137. Okay. 20. So he's got at least 30 here in the second half. He's not going to get it, Joe. Razorback defense comes up big there. Michael Johnson. The, uh, stop. You see Johnson there, along with Jaquavian Smith. So the Tigers lose yardage and will be forced to punt it away here. Fourth down and three. Although they have not put the punt team on the field yet. They're going to see if they can get the Razorbacks to jump offside. Well, they're going to go for it. They've They're got the it. first down. That's Terrell Miller. Miller with a nice run to that left side. We'll see here on the Texas A&M Texarkana replay. Good blocking on the left side. Cuts it upfield and just, just reels off the yards. Receivers, nice. again, doing a nice job blocking downfield for the running backs. Split backs again this time for the Tigers. There's the left Sellers side. Sellers going down the oh, field. That's got to be a pass interference. 
Uh, yeah, I got to believe I'd call timeout if I'm Texas High. Go. They called one. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't see a flag. No, I don't see a flag, no. It's coming back to the line of scrimmage. He's pushed down. Yeah, here, let's look at the replay right here. He's yeah. pushed a hand yeah, he in pushed his back him down. pushes him down. That was Trey Roberts, the intended receiver. No call. And the same exact play for Terrell Miller. I think the Tigers are pretty fired up about it, Joe. Yeah, I think you're right. Going to be right near the yard marker. Got to be just short, third down and less than a yard. Six twenty-one to play here in the third. Same score as we had at halftime, twenty-one to seven. Split backs here, hand it off, and straight ahead goes Cooper. I think you're going to see this kind of. I don't think you're going to see the Tigers throw the ball anymore on this drive. I think they're they're really trying to make a statement now. Yeah, that offensive line is doing a nice job there for Texas High. They're opening up some holes. And the, and the backs are doing a great job of finding the holes. Again, split backs here for the Tigers this time. Sellers back to pass. He's got a man there. And incomplete. Good coverage downfield by Demarcus Davis. Do have a Tiger player down. And as they attend to him, we'll take a break. We'll be back after these messages. When it comes to priorities, your family always comes first. History has brought you to this point. Generations have led the way. At Red River Credit Union, the tradition continues. Financial options are available for every age, including checking and savings accounts and financial counseling. Members enjoy mobile banking and direct deposit, and children use their Homer accounts at Red River to learn how to save for the future. Red River Credit Union with locations in Shreveport, Grambling, and now open in Marshall, Texas. If you find yourself in need of emergency care, come see us at Texarkana Emergency Center. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We're locally owned with board certified physicians for all your emergencies. We accept all private insurance. At Texarkana Emergency Center, we have on-site lab, pharmacy, x-ray, ultrasound, and CT. Come see us at Texarkana Emergency Center. Real ER without the wait. The next generation of emergency care. Colin Shelley, the injured Tiger. Good to see him back up, number 75. So second and 10 after the incompletion from Sellers. Again, split backs for the Tigers. Cooper, the ball carrier, breaks a tackle, lowers a shoulder down inside the 30 into the 29. Joe, they had him there in the backfield, and he just pushed his way through. Take a look right here. Two of them. Yeah, that's a punishing run there from Tracy Cooper. Six foot, 185 senior running back. Third down and about two here for the Tigers. This time, Miller, the ball carrier, picks up the first down. No, no, it's, no, it's Cooper again, okay? Bring in the... 44 comes back in. That is Jaden Kelly. They like to put him in kind of a slot position, use him like a tight end. As a tight end, excuse me. Sellers awaits the snap. Cooper's got the handoff. And 
this time not going to have anything. As Eric Flowers makes the tackle, going to lose yardage. Back to the 30, well, we'll say the 29-yard line. And Joe, he was just faster than his lead blocker. Yeah. He, he had a lead blocker out there, but he got out ahead of the blocker and allowed the Razorbacks to, to uh, come on up. Second and 12 now. Miller, the ball carrier, going to be ridden out of bounds. Flag down at 24. 26 yard line. It's going to be dropped on the 30. That's a good shot of Miller. That's a hold right there. Right in front of our cameraman. Good shot there. It'll be second and very long, about 23. All the way back to the 40. Second long for the Tigers, the Rays are back 40. Yeah, second and 23. Sellers back to pass. He's got time. He can run. He's an open man, and it's can't bring it in. Now, Joe. That's Trey Roberts had two shots at it. We'll see here. Sellers has got some green. Right, he can run here for 10 or 12 yards, probably. Roberts has two shots at it. Can't bring it down. Third and 23. 3.35 left here in the third quarter, 21 to seven. Not sure if I remember Texas High running a screen pass tonight. I know our Razorbacks no. have. Timeout by the Tigers. We'll be back right after this. What's so special about credit union? You! What's so special about Millway? You! At Millway, you'll find it's comfortable to talk to us about your money and your financial goals. You'll see that we're truly concerned about helping you reach your goals. It's about lower loan rates, fewer fees, and higher returns on your savings. It's, it's all about taking care of you, the member, and helping you with your financial needs. Our goal is to make your life more affordable and enjoyable for you and your family. Alex, are you still playing Fortnite? No, Poppy. I want a car, so I'm checking my credit score and interest rates on orchevy.com. The new or pre-check tool that gives you real-time information with no effect on your credit score. I want a truck, too! Hold it, boys. None of y'all are getting a truck anytime soon. Check out orchevy.com or pre-check. Back here at Razorback Stadium, 335 to play. Third and long ways here for the Tigers. And Ray, you were just mentioning screenplay. Might be a good call right here for the Tigers or a draw play. We have not seen a draw play from the Tigers. Well, I think the Razorbacks would welcome a draw play, though, when you've got 23 yards to go. A lot of times a draw works really well, and you get eight yards. Sellers so back to pass. He's got pressure and going to be sacked back at the 46 yard line by Charles Stewart. Razorbacks brought the house, Joe, and the Tigers couldn't pick it up, and Sellers couldn't get rid of the ball quick enough. So, fourth and we'll see here on the replay. Sellers, there's nothing Sellers could do. He's got pressure coming from both sides. And probably the smart thing just to go down right there. So you got fourth and a lot here. Kind off of the off side the side, of the yeah, the side of his foot. And it's gonna take a Razorback bounce, go out of bounds at the 42. I don't think that's even, a, I'm not sure if that's even a gain on the punt from the line of scrimmage. Well, the line of scrimmage was the 46 of the Tigers. So, so that'll be a, like an eight yard punt? Yeah, a 12 yard punt. <laughs> Watch this game and other sports games from 
And that's not what you want if you're Texas high there. You, you, in effect, you gave up all that field position that you gained with a really nice drive. Bishop's got the ball, the fake, and loses yards. See. That was Tristan Whitehead on the tackle. Second and 12 now for the Razorbacks with 225 left here in the third quarter. Pressure coming and over the head of Tori Blair. Joe, they've got that little pass open for four or five yards, but they've only connected on it twice. Jackson Holter came from his linebacker spot untouched. I think Bishop had to rush that a little bit. So third down and 12 now for the Razorbacks. Ball through on 40 yard line. 2.09 to play here in the third quarter. Bishop down the field and takes over the head shot. of Tylee Green. Bishop took a big shot right as he released the ball, Joe. That was Whitehead on the pressure. So it'll be fourth down and 12 for the Razorbacks. Four back back deep for the Razorbacks. Caleb Arnold for the Tigers deep at his own 25. Low snap. Pressure is blocked by Whitehead. And Tigers pick it up. And it's picked up and Razorbacks they, get it back. It doesn't matter though. It's not a change of possession. So they, the they Tigers call it Razorback ball. ball. It is not Razorback ball. It was fourth down. Yeah. They had text. Yeah. Yeah. Coach Sanford's telling them that that very thing right now. Texas High never had clear possession no. of the ball. <laughs> and they're going to give it to the Razorbacks. Show that. Who Sanford's arguing that very thing. That they never that established the possession. That, that's not the rule, Joe. So the Razorbacks get it back over after the turnover by the Tigers at their own 20. So kind of a bizarre play, a block. Tiger defender got his hands on it. Razorbacks recovered it, get it back. Blair, the ball carrier, up to the 26. Fisher on the tackle for the Tigers. Be second down and five now for the Razorbacks. 1.30 to play here in the third quarter. Bishop again, the ball carrier, gets to about the 31, gonna be near the first down marker. And we got a couple of Tigers shaking up on the play. So as they attend to those players, we'll take a break and be back right after these messages. in for the Razorbacks and great job over there by the Tigers. That's number 22, LeJonte Reitner, who looked like he was beaten on the play and made a tremendous made, catch. Made a heck of a catch, Joe. Blackwell was open there and we'll see here on the replay. 
Breitner does a great job of coming back into the play. Looked like he's beaten. And very nice job coming up with that ball at the 29-yard like line. He jumped too soon, but he stayed up there long enough to grab it, Joe. Well, the Razorbacks return the favor with a, an interception here. The Tigers get it back with 109 to play in the third quarter. That is Miller, the ball carrier. And Taylor and Hall on the tackle. Loss of a couple. Defensive line for Razorbacks has done a much better job here in the second half of containing that run game. Again, Miller, the ball carrier. Picks up about four yards, but it's gonna bring up third and long. Third and seven now for the Tigers with 28 seconds to play in the third quarter. Jaden Kelly comes back in at tight end for the Tigers. Kobe Webster is going to have single coverage out here on the right side. Seller's going to run here. Got some Lot room. Run. He's going to have the first down as he runs out of bounds at about the 41 yard line. And Joe, that's very frustrating for a defense. Take a look here. Here's the replay from Texas A&M University, Texarkana. And, and that's the luxury, Ray, of having a quarterback like Sellers who doesn't see anything downfield. And he, he does a good job of not forcing the football, picking up the first down. New life for the Texas High Tiger offense on this drive. Now on their own 41-yard line. Cooper, the ball carrier, he's got some room. He's Past got midfield, still on his feet. There's a hold or a block in the back. Well, that's going to come back. Flag down at the 45 yard line. It's either a hold or a block in the back on the Tigers. And we'll see here on the replay, see if we can see it. Cooper's got a lot of running room. There's a block in the back. Yeah. And that's possibly what was, a, was able to spring Cooper there. So it'll come back 10 yards. Should be first down and five or so. See, it was at the 45, so it'll come back there. So it'll be first and six. Yeah, for the, the Tigers. So what would have been a touchdown comes back. That would have put Cooper over the 200 yard mark. Seven seconds to play here in the third quarter. straight ahead there. That will be the end of the third quarter with our score, Texas High 21, Arkansas High 7. We'll be back after these messages. 1929 Rose Bowl featured two powerhouse teams, Georgia Tech and California. Uh, but the talk wasn't about the two teams, it was about one player that no one had ever heard of. His name was Roy Rigels. After picking up a fumble, he got disoriented and began to run toward the end zone. Problem is, he was running towards the wrong end zone. In fact, one of his own teammates tackled him before he scored a touchdown for the other team. You can imagine he went into the locker room embarrassed and dejected. But his coach came and put his arm around him and told him, Roy, you're going to go back out and play the second half because we've only played the first half. 
I'm Craig Jenkins, pastor of B Street. Maybe you've been running the wrong direction. Let me say this to you, it's only the first half. There's still a second half to go. You've got an opportunity to make a change and a new direction in your life. I'd like to invite you to Beach Street this Sunday at 815 or 1045. In one of those services, you're gonna be encouraged to go in a different direction. I look forward to seeing you there. Back here for the fourth quarter from Razorback Stadium. 21 to seven, our score. No, no scoring there in the third quarter. Tigers with a second down and a four now. Ball at their own 47 yard line. <laughs> Kelly in kind of a slot position and from the tight end spot and hand it off to Miller. Miller maybe gets a yard. Tigers have, have found it very difficult, Ray, as we see the replay here. They found it very difficult between the tackles, but they they found some space as they get outside. That's right, Joe, but I think they, they know they have to keep trying to run up the middle just to keep those linebackers from starting to cheat over to the outside a little bit more and be able to help contain. Flags here. Early movement. I don't know. Both sides look like they're moving. They'll be on the Tigers. False start. So instead of third and four, it'll be third and nine now for the Tigers. certainly changes your play call. At third and four, you could still run the football. Third and nine, you gotta think pass. Little screen pass is incomplete. Intended for Miller. And Joe, they they don't there was no blocking. You can't just let him go to the quarterback untouched. So the Tigers will punt it away here, fourth and nine. Ryan Sillers back deep to punt it away. And again, Tory Blair will be the deep man for the Razorbacks. And I've said this before, I'm not gonna punt it to Tory Blair. I'm gonna punt it out of bounds before I punt it to him. Very high punt, gonna bound at the 16. And that's where they'll down it. So the Razorbacks will start first and 10 at their own 16 yard line down 21 to seven. And Ray, you said this earlier in the ball game when the Razorbacks were down, you can't abandon the running game. I don't, no. I don't think you abandon it here. You've got to keep running the ball, working it, uh, mixing it up. If you let the defense know that not going to do anything but pass the ball. You're giving them an edge on their pass rush. Drop an extra defender back. Bishop, the quarterback. Blair, the running back. Bishop's going to run the football up the middle. Going to have a nice gain on first down up to the 23 yard line. We're going to bring up a second down and three. Again, Blair, the running back, is going to have the first down. He makes his way to the 28-yard line. Arkansas High running the ball effectively up the middle, but uh, looks like Blair shaking Blair up a little. Shaking up. Gonna stay in the ball game. Can't tell if he may be having cramps or something. He's very uncomfortable. First and 10 for the Razorbacks. Bishop's gonna carry it and gonna get 
two yards up to the 30. Second down and eight now for the Razorbacks. 9.35 to play in the ball game. Tigers up 21 to seven. time nowhere for Blair to go as Whitehead makes the tackle in the backfield. Yeah, Blair's walking like he's got cramps, Joe. Yeah, I think he does. Got to stay in the ball game. Third and nine now for the Razorbacks. Bishop back to pass, got time going down the field and way past his man. Blackwell, the intended receiver, but nowhere near. No flags on the field, so it's going to be fourth down and nine. Razorback punting unit coming out on the field. You know, the Razorbacks passing, where we they've seen the greatest success, those little passes out in the flat, little short passes toward the sideline. And, They've tried a number of these deep passes, just had very little success. No, that time, there were a couple of Tiger defenders running with the receiver, but the ball was way over their head. Razorbacks waiting on somebody to come out on the punt team. Well, they gotta take a timeout here with 8.40 to play back after this. What's so special about credit union? You! What's so special about Millway? You! At Millway, you'll find it's comfortable to talk to us about your money and your financial goals. You'll see that we're truly concerned about helping you reach your goals. It's about lower loan rates, fewer fees, and higher returns on your savings. It's, it's all about taking care of you, the member, and helping you with your financial needs. Our goal is to make your life more affordable and enjoyable for you and your family. Back here at Razorback Stadium, fourth and nine for the Razorbacks. Very big roll on that punt. It's gonna go all the way down to the Texas high 21 yard line. Very nice punt there, 50 that, yarder. That'll help your average. It certainly will. So the Tigers will take over at their own 21 yard line up 21 to seven. Now, Ray, if you're the Tigers, 829 to play, you, you're probably not too worried about putting the ball in the air that much. I think you just depend on uh, Cooper and Miller running the football here for you. I think so. You may work off tackle a little bit. Last time they ran almost exclusively straight up the middle. Cooper, the ball carrier, nice cutback. That's looked like a face mask. Yeah. Might have just had him around the neck, though, Joe. No flag. One of the things about Cooper, Ray, we said he hits the hole quickly, but he also can make that kind of jump step right there in the line as well, get him some extra yards. Second down and one now for the Tigers. Cooper again, the ball carries same play and same result. Big run for Cooper. It's a little trap play, Joe. They're bringing the slot man across and trapping on the left side. So two carries and 20 yards for Tracy Cooper on this drive so far. You gotta be thinking Cooper had a, when you say 127 at the, 137 at the half, he's, he's Probably over 200, 200 by now. Yes. And there he goes again. Got to be uh, drop, but not before he gets into Tiger territory at the 49. And, and there's now a there's flag. A late flag. Maybe a little extracurricular at the bottom of that pile.
Cooper took it for nine and then the flag. We'll see who it goes against. It looked like the official was telling him somebody threw a punch in on him while he was on the ground. So tack on 15. So the Tigers in business at the 34. First and 10 at that point. 7-10 to play in the ball game. Miller, the ball carrier. Miller picks up six on first down. And the Tigers are eating up the clock. We're down to 6.45 in the game. The clock is running. And you know, primarily the Tigers have, have run between the tackles right here on this drive. That's a nice job. job. Offensive line doing a very nice job. Miller again, the ball carrier's got a lot of room at the 15, the 10, what a move. the five, and he's in, Joe. Looks like he's in. Oh, and they're gonna mark him no. out of one inch line. <laughs> he hit the pylon. Yeah. A um, couple of players shaking up over there. Let's see. Here's the replay. Let's watch this again. I, I, I gotta he think he got in one. here. He's gonna step through a tackle right here too. And a stiff arm, nice stiff arm here against Blackwell. And well, okay, official's right. He got, got him, him a, right like before the, the pylon. Line. And the nose of the ball is just outside of the goal line there. They're attending to Niaja Taylor for the Razorbacks. He's got a cramp. It's just a cramp. They're trying to stretch stretch out that calf. Well, let's take a time out here and we'll be back after this. Alex, are you still playing Fortnite? No, Poppy, I want a car, so I'm checking my credit score and interest rates on orchevy.com. The new or pre-check tool that gives you real-time information with no effect on your credit score. I want a truck too! Hold it, boys. None of y'all are getting a truck anytime soon. Check out orchevy.com or pre-check. Get pre-approved in minutes. So easy a kid can do it. So come to or Chevy. We're buying a car is easy. Surf or Chevy. At Liberty Allo High School, a variety of opportunities exist to teach students how to be productive members of society. Dual credit college courses ensure that LEHS graduates have a head start on their continuing education. Extensive career and technical education offerings give students job-ready skills to compete in a shrinking job market. Extracurricular activities, including band, academic UIL, and theater, allow students to display outstanding artistic skills. And as always, LEHS athletic teams are among the top in the state. Liberty Isle High School truly is a great place for students and educators. Back here at Razorback Stadium, first and goal from the inch line, and Cooper goes in, but there's a flag. So that's going to come back. start so it'll be first and goal from the five and two inch line Tigers just take more time off the clock Joe Six twenty-one to play here. Tigers first and goal just outside the five-yard line. That's two touchdowns the Tigers have had called back here in the second half by penalty. Oh, he's Cooper in. breaks a tackle and in for the touchdown for five yards out. So the Tigers extend this lead down to twenty-seven to seven. Cooper broke that tackle the line of scrimmage. Nobody there. Clear sailing. 
Chavez on to attempt the extra point, and it is good. 28 to seven, our new score here at Razorback Stadium. Back after this. At Liberty Allo High School, a variety of opportunities exist to teach students how to be productive members of society. Dual credit college courses ensure that LEHS graduates have a head start on their continuing education. Extensive career and technical education offerings give students job-ready skills to compete in a shrinking job market. Extracurricular activities, including band, academic UIL, and theater, allow students to display outstanding artistic skills. And as always, LEHS athletic teams are among the top in the state. Liberty Isle High School truly is a great place for students and educators. What is the Eagle Experience for me? It's fun. I love it. The Eagle Experience for me, the sports is great. I made a lot of great friends. It's a big school in a small package. I study business administration. Professors are great. We're very involved in the community. My name is Michael Herrera, and I play baseball at Texas A&M Fisher County. My name is Allie, and I'm from Little Elm, Texas. I'm Danny, and I'm a senior at Texas A&M University, Texarkana. When it comes to priorities, your family always comes first. History has brought you to this point. Generations have led the way. At Red River Credit Union, the tradition continues. Financial options are available for every age, including checking and safety. Oscar Hernandez to kick it away for the Tigers. Tigers have extended that lead to 28 to seven. Very high kick. Take it in at the 19 yard line. By Tylee Green. Going to get back to the 25, so a Great. six yard return. Great pursuit and tackle by Terrell Miller there, Joe. Well, the Razorbacks will take over first and 10 at their own five, excuse me, 25 yard line. 6.09 to play here. Down 28 to seven. Probably not gonna come back in this one. So if you're the Razorbacks, I think you continue working on the running game, working on that short passing game, which has been the best thing that they've had really as far as passing goes. Joe, I, I think you're gonna see a lot of those little short passes to the flat while they run a receiver down to clear out the cornerback. Blair, the running back. Blair picks up one yard. Tigers strung that out fairly well. Short pass there intended for Demarcus Davis. Ball was incomplete, but there was a Tiger defender right there too. And that's gonna bring up third down and long, Joe. You know, one thing we've noticed, both teams, uh, a lot, both teams have some work to do with the quarterback to the running back exchange and the quarterback continuing to carry out a fake. Yeah. Because, uh, Part of that spread offense is that run pass option and you definitely want to continue to carry out that fake every time to keep the defense used to seeing it to where they start to ignore it just assuming you've handed off the ball and all of a sudden you didn't. Right. Incompletion there intended for Blackwell brings up fourth and nine now for the Razorbacks. If you're the Tigers, I'd say you don't try to run this back. You don't even try to catch it. You just get away from it. Oh, absolutely. Get away Almost from hit uh, Tiger. I, yeah, he wasn't trying to. He didn't know the ball was coming in there. And, and that's where the, the deep man has got to let him know that, that the ball is there. And he was certainly unaware of it. That could have been a big break for the Razorbacks. He could have. Hit him. So the Tigers take over first and 10 at the 45 yard line, 543 to play. And Joe, this is the time you have to work the clock. 
you can't be snapping the ball with 11 seconds left on the play clock. You gotta, you gotta take it down to like four seconds or three, so that you, you know, in three plays you've run almost two minutes out of the game. off to a new running back and big hole for number 20 Vontre Anderson it's amazing Ray late in the ball game we'll see here on the replay from ADM from Texas County University he gets some fresh legs in there against a uh, tired defense yeah. it makes it a big difference seems it's like a night and day comparison. Time out on the field here, 525 to play. When it comes to priorities, your family always comes first. History has brought you to this point. Generations have led the way. At Red River Credit Union, the tradition continues. Financial options are available for every age, including checking and savings accounts and financial counseling. Members enjoy mobile banking and direct deposit, and children use their Homer accounts at Red River to learn how to save for the future. Red River Credit Union, with locations in Shreveport, Grambling, and now open in Marshall, Texas. Every day, the Texarkana, Arkansas School District helps students realize their full potential. We are a community rich in talent and strength, all working together to enhance the lives of our students and committed to providing students the tools they need to succeed. At TASD, you will find state-of-the-art technology, a dedicated staff, and an award-winning approach to education. We know that every student is different, so we think our schools should be too. Become a Razorback and realize your full potential. Andre Anderson again, the ball carrier. Nice carry there on first down. Here's the replay. That's, he picks up about another six yards, Joe. Second down, four now for the Tigers. Clock runs, 4.55 to play in the ball game. The Tigers up 28 to seven. Anderson again, the ball carrier, not much this time as Christian Torres makes the tackle. Gonna make it a third down. Third and three here for the Tigers. Joe, the, the play clock's still at 23, and they need to run off at least 18 more seconds. Yeah. Tigers with a new quarterback in there as well. Brayson McHenry, sophomore. Anderson again, the ball carrier. And it looks like the Tigers will attempt a field goal here. Diego Mata Chavez will attempt his field goal. It'll be from the 16 yard line. So a 26 yard field goal attempt for Chavez. The snap, kick is up, kick is wide to the left and no good. And part of that, you mentioned the snap, it might have thrown off the timing there a little bit. It's just a little bit high, and the holder got it down, but it it messed up the timing a little. Yeah. So the Razorbacks take over first and ten, 331 to play at their own 20-yard line, down 28 to seven. Here at Razorback Stadium. As we're starting to see some new faces on both teams here. Well, that's true, Joe. Still have Braylon Bishop in at quarterback, Tory Blair at running back for the Razorbacks. Bishop overthrows his receiver. Yeah, intended for Tylee Green. Green. 
So second down and 10, clock stops 327 to play in the ball game. Bishop back to pass. Gonna step up in the pocket. Now he's gonna be sacked back at the 15 yard line. Looked almost like he slipped there. I think he did, Joe, but heavy pressure. We see here on the replay. Yeah, he got he was getting pressure from both sides and tried to make a move and just kind of slipped down. So it'll be third down and 15 now for the Razorbacks. Back at their own 15 yard line. Sets up the screen for Blair and incomplete. And the passing game rate just, just hadn't been there tonight for the Razorbacks. No, it hasn't. Uh, you know, a lot of it you got to attribute to the Texas high defensive line. They put a lot of pressure on Bishop tonight. They have. Uh, the one thing we have not seen, the receivers haven't really been dropping the ball. Most of them that were incomplete were not really catchable. So fourth down now for the Razorbacks, fourth and 15, 237 to play. And again, same thing, you got if you're the Tigers, just don't even worry about trying to catch this. They are going to fair catch it. That's uh, Caleb Arnold. I, I'm not like you, though, Ray. I'm almost just don't even put anybody back deep. That way there's no chance, yeah. Right. They take over at the 48 of the Razorbacks here with 2.30 to play. Joe, it's probably a good time now to talk about who we've selected as our player of the game. And probably no doubt for our fans at home of who we've chosen. Tracy Cooper, senior running back for the Texas High Tigers. Has, he's had a whale of a night. We don't have the stats in front of us, but we know he had 137 yards at the half. He's well over 200 yards for the game with multiple touchdowns. Absolutely. So, so outstanding he's, performance. He's had a, a big impact on the game tonight. So Tracy Cooper from Texas High. It's our player of the game. Congratulations to Tracy. And Ray, you gotta congratulate that Texas High offensive line. They're the ones opening the holes for him. They've done a great job. Uh, Razorbacks put up a good fight, but I think the Tigers, uh, the Tigers had a little bit more size and they had Tracy Cooper, which was a tremendous weapon as well. Second and 14 now for the Tigers after they knelt on the ball. Really, both teams, Ray, want to just come out of this ball game with no more injuries. Hopefully, nobody's injured too badly. Good news for the Razorbacks, they've got two weeks off. They have two open dates in a row here so they can uh, get healed up. Obviously work on some things they, next ball game they have, it'll be uh, after the two week break, we'll uh, be against the Magnolia Panthers and that will be a conference, 5A conference ball game. And uh, basically a new opponent for the Razorbacks. They have not been playing Magnolia in recent years. Well, they, they started playing them last year. They, went, they were in the new conference, uh, 5A conference played them last year um, but Magnolia with a new new uh, coach this year uh, coach King who came over from uh, Foreman and uh, I understand Magnolia is running the wishbone so well, that, that, could that be. you know race backs will have a couple of weeks to work on that love watching a good wishbone team it's really tough that first year unless usually it takes about a half a season for your quarterback, your running backs and all to start to actually be able to read the triple option and go full speed. And we'll be back at Razorback Stadium for that. 
when they will play Magnolia. Next week, Texas High will be back in Tiger Stadium and will be there as Texas High entertains the Liberty Isle Leopards. And timeout taken here by Texas High with 17 seconds left. Let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. 1929 Rose Bowl featured two powerhouse teams, Georgia Tech and California. Uh, but the talk wasn't about the two teams. It was about one player that no one had ever heard of. His name was Roy Rigels. After picking up a fumble, he got disoriented and began to run toward the end zone. Problem is, he was running towards the wrong end zone. In fact, though, one of his own teammates tackled him before he scored a touchdown for the other team. You can imagine he went into the locker room embarrassed and dejected. But his coach came and put his arm around him and told him, Roy, you're going to go back out and play the second half because we've only played the first half. I'm Craig Jenkins, pastor at B Street. Maybe you've been running the wrong direction. Let me say this to you. It's only the first half. There's still a second half to go. You've got an opportunity to make a change and a new direction in your life. I'd like to invite you to Beach Street this Sunday at 815 or 1045. In one of those services, you're going to be encouraged to go in a different direction. I look forward to it. Sellers back to punt it away. And the bump roll roll down to the 20. Seven yard line. Official stop. Stop it now. They they let it run down to zero. So and that's the end of the ball game here from Razorback Stadium. As the Texas High Tigers come over to Razorback Stadium and beat the Razorbacks 28 to seven. There you see the coaches, Joe. The teams line up to congratulate one another. And again, as we talked about in the opening, you know, this is a game everybody points to. They, they wait all summer for it's for bragging rights, and it's a big deal. It's a huge crowd here, but uh, uh, in the long run, it's not a district or a conference game. And uh, both these teams can take things away from this ball game and learn from it, correct the mistakes, and, and get better. Well, each team will leave the field tonight at a record of one and one. The uh, uh, Razorbacks, as we said, uh, be going on to play Magnolia. Who are the Tigers going to be facing? They're going to be, they're going to be facing Liberty Alo, and we're going to have that ball game from Tiger Stadium next week. That'll be exciting again as we get two local teams against each other. That'll be the third week in a row, Joe. That's right. We start off the season. I don't think we've ever done that. We start off the season with with uh, local teams playing each other like that. We had Arkansas High Liberty Alo last week. Arkansas High Texas High tonight. Next week. Liberty Alo at Texas High. Later in the season, we'll have Pleasant Grove at Liberty Alo. So uh, obviously when you have two in-town teams playing, we, we try to cover them for sure. Oh, yeah. So a great ball game tonight here. Tigers with the 28 to seven victory here at Razorback Stadium. And uh, so for Joe Adams, along with Ray Angle, all the staff here at Caliph I will say good night. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching Texarkana Football. This program has been brought to you by Baptist Bookstore, Chick fil A, Middleway Credit Union, or Chevrolet, Red River Credit Union, Southern Arkansas University. And Arkansas School District, Texas A&M, Texas Canada, State Farm, Agent Greg Cockrell, University of Arkansas Hope in Texas Canada, Pleasant Grove ISD, Guaranteed Bank and Trust, Fox Sports, Texas Canada. Liberty Ilo Independent School District, Texarkana Emergency Center, the Texarkana Independent School District, Beach Street First Baptist Church, and the Pop Pop Shop.
What's so special about credit unions? You! What's so special about Millway? You! At Millway, you'll find it's comfortable to talk to us about your money and your financial goals. You'll see that we're truly concerned about helping you reach your goals. It's about lower loan rates, fewer fees, and higher returns on your savings. It's, it's all about taking care of you, the member, and helping you with your financial needs. Our goal is to make your life more affordable and enjoyable for you and your family. 1929 Rose Bowl featured two powerhouse teams, Georgia Tech and California. Uh, but the talk wasn't about the two teams, it was about one player that no one had ever heard of. His name was Roy Rigels. After picking up a fumble, he got disoriented and began to run toward the end zone. Problem is, he was running towards the wrong end zone. In fact, though, one of his own teammates tackled him before he scored a touchdown for the other team. You can imagine he went into the locker room embarrassed and dejected. But his coach came and put his arm around him and told him, Roy, you're going to go back out and play the second half because we've only played the first half. I'm Craig Jenkins, pastor at Beach Street. Maybe you've been running the wrong direction. Let me say this to you. It's only the first half. There's still a second half to go. You've got an opportunity to make a change and a new direction in your life. I'd like to invite you to Beach Street this Sunday at 815 or 1045. In one of those services, you're going to be encouraged to go in a different direction. I look forward to seeing you there. Every day, the Texarkana, Arkansas School District helps students realize their full potential. We are a community rich in talent and strength, all working together to enhance the lives of our students and committed to providing students the tools they need to succeed. At TASD, you will find state-of-the-art technology, a dedicated staff, and an award-winning approach to education. We know that every student is different, so we think our schools should be too. Become a Razorback and realize your full potential. 